Welcome to Woodworking with Wes. We have a kitchen that we're doing in the shop right now and part of that kitchen is a hood. This is the appliance that we're going to be building around and we're going to turn this pile of wood and some other parts into a nice decorative hood. Like all projects, we start off with a shop drawing. One of the things we have to deal with, let me show the hood first, one of the things we have to deal with, every hood is different, every hood has to be built in different. This hood this is the inside of the appliance. Let me tip it up here so that you can see the underneath side. This is the underneath side. This face is forward. Or no, excuse me, this is the back. This is the front. This will have a louvered panel in it with the filters. We leave the filters out as we install, but um, this is how we start. But this particular hood has a lip around here. So what we have to do is we have to build a box that fits around the appliance itself so that this lip here trims it out. That gives us our size and we use that size to make our working drawing. Like I say, all, start, all uh, projects start off with a box. This is our box size right here. We've listed our parts. This will be the face frame of it. Our side panels go back in and it has some structure to be able to hang it on the wall. This will be a bottom face frame and we'll show you how we hook that on. This will be a shelf. It has a panel that will go over the top of this that will go on after the appliance is all installed and the venting is hooked up. Um, then we put the panel on to finish it out and then it has a crown mold that trims it out up to the ceiling. But we'll go ahead and get started first by making the box that is determined by the dimension of the appliance itself. These are the pieces to our box. These are the sides. This is the back. This is some structure across the top. And here is our face frame that will make the front of the box where our panel will go. Like I say, we're gonna go ahead and assemble this so that we can get started and then move on to the next step. are done with our box part of our construction we're going to putty and sand and then move on to the next part Okay, we've completed the sanding portion. I forgot to mention that this is a paint grade piece, so we're using maple plywood and poplar for our hardwoods. We've completed the sanding of this part, and as we assemble, we have to sand each section because we won't be able to sand into the corners and, th and pieces of the pieces as we apply more pieces. So we're sanding as we go so that we make sure that we're all completely sanded when we get done. Next part, the bottom. Our hood is upside down right now. The face of the, of the cabinet is a face frame and we're going to apply another face frame to the bottom and this creates the plate that the actual appliance, when the appliance sits in here, so this will turn upside down, slide in the hole here and trim out around the bottom of this face frame. We're just going to face nail this on and sand this part.
while we're waiting for the putty to dry, now the cabinet now is laying on its side, while we're waiting for the putty to dry on the bottom side that we just nailed on, we added these two little strips of wood. These are little wings that extend the width of our cabinet out to the width of the opening that we have. This is where the upper that is going to be the left and right side of our hood will meet up with our hood right here on these little wings. So we added the wing to each side and, and nailed those on so that we will be the full width of the opening for our hood. Okay, that completes the bottom side of our uh, of our hood. Now we get to do the fun stuff that's going to make it look really cool. The next step is a little skirt piece that goes around our box like this. We'll be gluing and nailing this from the inside and that's the next step. The next step that we're going to do is we're going to put a shelf right here and our customer has asked for a plate rail, a plate groove in here so she can stand uh, items up on her little shelf. We made this real tight so it'll fit in there real tight. That's the next thing. However, before we put it in, we're going to take an eighth inch round over and go all the way around the outside edge, top and bottom because once we get it on, we'll never get a little router in there. So we're gonna do that first. We have made, for our next step, a small piece of crown that will fit under the shelf we just installed. We'll center that and we'll just tack that on and putty and sand. We've completed the actual physical part of the build. We still have some sanding to do and this panel here will be installed when we get it all done painted white. Everything now runs through the paint shop and we'll see you on the other side of the paint shop and show you how it came out. Welcome to our job site. We've completed our hood, ran it through the paint shop and we even have it installed. You can see how it ties into the cabinets next to it and we have the venting hooked up and plugged into electricity. We're ready to go. All we have to do now is nail on the face panel and we'll be almost done. We've nailed our panel on. We'll go back and fill these holes and do the touch up. But that's how it looks right there. We'll be a crown mold up above and it'll be a great looking addition in their kitchen. This is how we do things at Woodworking with Wes.